Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Good evening, everybody. We're going to start off tonight with this picture from Mark A. Demoline. We're in Yellowstone River and by Livingston, looking out towards the Absaroka Mountains. And look at that beautiful sky out there. What a great day it has been. And over in Wyoming, it's the same thing over. You can see uh, Hart Mountain. Kind of this was sunset tonight. Lynn Richardson got this picture. Kind of unusual colors there. He says, but those are true. That's the way it looked out there tonight. You know, here's the way things are shaping up Billings right now. Currently, 57 degrees with those clear skies. Winds out of the south now at about 5 miles per hour. Our high temp today topped out at 66. Normal high 59, so we actually beat that. The record was 90 back. 1980 record low is 17 above back in 1966 and when it comes to precipitation nothing new to add to the total so we're a little bit behind normal for the month and indeed the year but we still got plenty of time to catch up so we're not too worried about it meanwhile our current temperatures into the 30s and 40s out in the southwest 51 over at the western missoula and out across the high line still into the 40s and a lot of 50s everywhere else in the state but take a look at a reported highs for the day everybody got into the 60s except for jordan they got up to 70 degrees today. Williston, North Dakota, that's the only cool spot, and that was at 58 degrees today. Meanwhile, as we move on, you can see the story. Doppler radar shows you some scattered rain showers just clipping extreme northeast corner of the state tonight. Everyone else generally clear skies. What this is is part of a larger system that started pushing its way in upper level trough, moving into the Dakotas and into the upper Great Lake states. It's all rotating around that low pressure cell, taking moisture from Iowa, Illinois, and back in towards Michigan. But back here at home, there you go. There's a warm front right there. There's a the cold air kind of pushing into the Dakotas, but we're expecting warmer conditions tomorrow. High pressure building into the region as that does so. That's going to warm us up all the way up into the 70s tomorrow and maybe upper 60s on Wednesday. But on Wednesday, you will see some cloudy skies starting to roll in. So that'll keep us out of the 70s, I think. And then here comes another batch of rain moving in late in the day on Wednesday, possibly Thursday and Friday. We could see some thunderstorms out of it, but nothing really expected to be severe. In the meantime, tonight our temperatures will be cooling back down into the 30s across the region, maybe 20 through over uh, 20. 23 over West Yellowstone, but clearing skies out and towards Billings. Just a few partly cloudy skies out towards the west tonight. Then for tomorrow, enjoy this. Back to the 60s, back to some 70, 72 in Billings, 66 in Livingston, 58 over White Sulphur Springs, 70 over Broadus. Then for Billings area tonight, it'll be mostly clear and 38 degrees west wind at 5 to 15 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, back up to 72 with mostly sunny skies. Good chance for sunshine in the morning, but scattered rain and thunderstorms in the afternoon on Wednesday. Thursday, rain and thunderstorms throughout the day, high of 60. 59 degrees on Friday with a good chance of rain in the morning and thunderstorms throughout that day. Saturday will be 65 degrees. Sunday, 70 degrees, 72 degrees with a 20% chance of rain showers. Then Monday, uh, mostly cloudy skies, a good chance of rain showers in. Temperatures back up to about 69. And now it's my duty to inform you of a death in our Q2 family. This is our buddy Steve Brill. Uh, you might remember him. He has been around uh, the Billings area for a long time. Uh, we were told that he passed this weekend after a long battle with cancer, and he was surrounded by close friends and families. They said he passed peacefully, and that was some good news. We want to thank, P uh, thank uh, Steve Brill for being a good friend for us. Uh, let me show you here. Uh, Steve Brill did uh, work for Q2 as a weekend weatherman, and then also he was uh, became our first morning weather anchor uh, for weather, and uh, that was back in October 30th of 1995. He started along with Laura Thornquist as a new morning show, and Steve Brill is a good friend. He worked hard, a good worker, and a great friend. And Steve, you will be missed. Steve Brill was 66 years old.